What's going on, everybody? I got an email last night or this morning asking about um, how I organize my documents, reading list. Do I use an e ebook reader? What's my workflow for that? How do I note, highlight different things in documents like PDFs, uh, organize articles I'm interested in reading? Um, and what's my system? Or and or do I like LF? So uh, if it looks like I'm looking upwards, it's because I'm actually have my external monitor hooked up right now. But I don't actually use LF. Um, from when I downloaded LARBs, I still have VIFM, and I'm perfectly happy with it. It does what I need it to. I've used Ranger before, and I have Ranger on my Ubuntu laptop that I don't really do anything with, but um, I haven't done LF. But as for like my documents and articles and things that I read, um, I don't really have a great system um, because I don't really have a ton of stuff to manage. like. I'm not doing a PhD. I'm not really in school at the moment, not yet. Um, so I don't really have a terribly large amount of things that I'm trying to read. So like really all I do for that is um, I have like two main things. Like I have solid large books that I'm trying to read. Um, I either have my physical books, which I like keep stacked in a specific area in order of which I want to read them, which is like my bedside table. Um, but if it's like digital stuff, then I have a books directory here. Uh, I have books that I have finished reading for posterity, books that I am currently reading, uh, or like in this case for meditations by Marcus Aurelius. Um, I have uh, like notes I've been taking, but I actually I have the physical copy of the book. And so I was just writing my notes on here in Markdown because why not? Um, but I'm still f reading that. It's kind of you know, you got to take time to digest it. But I'm also currently like reading several of these things. Um, and then books that I haven't read or even started. Uh, and I just, I separate them out by like category. I got a humble bundle for like 15 bucks and I got like, like 15 O'Reilly books and just all kinds of stuff. And then some stuff that some friends sent me like on uh, pointers and C, but, um, like Emacs, I'm probably not going to read that because how many pages is that? Um, uh, 536 pages on Emacs. Yeah, I don't use Emacs, so I'm probably not going to read that. Um, but, I mean, it was part of the Humble Bundle, so. Uh, I did finish a book on Regex the other day. I uh, just added this to my bib file, um, took some notes on it. So, like, in um, my Joplin, if it's going to, oh, I just need to do, oops. Uh, Joplin, if I'm going to do CLI. So on um, regex, regex expressions. So like this is all I did for um, my regex stuff is I just took some common pieces. I mean, this actually does look better in the, the GUI. Um, hold, please. Regex. So like, um, I just took like some common pieces of regex stuff like I did in my video and I just put it in here and this is really all I took from the book um, because I don't really, I use regex on the command line for some grep stuff and pulling out different things and it is useful when you're doing stuff on the command line. But I mean, I didn't pull out too much out of that book but what I'll do is I'll usually just like have like, um, uh, I'll have the book open. If I can figure out how to open something, um, I'll have like the book open like on a side, and then on another side, I'll have like um, I'll actually have Joplin open or something, and I'll be like writing my notes over here, or I'll have Joplin CLI open. And I'll just be, you know, scrolling through the book, just taking my notes or whatever. Like for my Viking research, um, I have the PDF open here and I just write an R Markdown document because I actually do some stuff with uh, figures and some pictures in here. And um, I do have a bibliography file for this because I tend to like have all of these write-ups for different articles uh, for my Viking Guild research. 
and I'm ultimately going to get like all of the cliff notes of all these different articles that I read and then create a like actual paper and cite each of these articles. So I need to just know like this one comes from this article and then when I smash them all together, I'll have the citations correct. But um, in general, I'll just have like a note taking thing open and a book open. And because this is in Zathura, if I actually close this, like if I go to, uh, let's just go to some random page. So like this is, page 15 right here, matching digits we can see right there. If I just close this book and then um, open it up again, it remembers the page. So, I mean, that's really useful for me. I just, it goes back to the page. Um, but I'll just read this. I'll take notes at the same time as I find any salient points and that's it. And then if I am doing something where um, I'm moving it through my process, so I'm reading it, I move it from unread to reading and I finish reading it, I move it from reading to read, and then I'll just add it to my uh, bib files. So like I got one for books, and then um, I have a separate bib file for articles and one for papers. Because these aren't like super large documents, um, I tend to just keep them in here in this directory, um, just because I might wanna refer back to them. I should ultimately probably just con consolidate books in here too, but I like to have books up in the top so I don't forget about them. Um, this is just for things that I have finished reading and I don't really have a place for articles or papers, but, uh, when I do that, I will, I add them to these different bib files. And then I have a shell, simple shell script where I just take, um, each of the bib files I have, I just did a simple character regex here. Um, so any of the things that start with a and end with dot bib, um, I just cat them into, um, mega bib which is just like my consolidated bibliography file. So that's how I do like my note taking with my books. Um, now for articles and research papers, I have a, a, di a directory here for research. Um, I have just like different research topics I have here. Um, HTML notes, these shouldn't be in here. These are, these are done notes. So I should put that in like Joplin or something. But um, for Python, I have a bunch of, I'm working on different files right here because I'm actually um, learning more about Python right now. So I got my whole little Python learning station here. You know, I'm writing notes on each thing in Joplin while also watching these uh, Socratica videos on YouTube. You know, it's like a, a single Python course before I dive into some other more complex material and some projects. I watch the video here. I move the file to done because I'm gonna save the videos and I'm writing the code in VS and VS Codium and taking notes in Joplin. But um, in these directories, I have like different things all related to like Python research. But in data science, I have a bunch of data science related papers, uh, research papers and articles or from the Journal of Statistical Software. Um, I'll read those things. I got a nine hour long video on statistics I still haven't gotten around to finishing. I'm gonna reread all my statistics class material too. Um, and then like my Viking research material, I have this PDF on Viking leather work. Um, but I mean, I have all my research papers, articles and stuff in the research directory, all my books in the books directory, and then all my bibliography files in documents, bib directories. And I mean, that's, I mean, it's not a super great workflow. I haven't really like, I haven't tried to optimize it because um, for me, for me, it's good enough. Like it gets the job done and it's, it's good enough for what I'm doing. So I don't really care too much about it at the moment. Um, and I don't really do too much reading on my computer. I do try to get around to reading these PDFs, articles and papers and books, but um, I'm more likely probably to pick up a physical book. Sometimes if I can pick up a book at all, it's hard to get reading these days, but that's basically all I do for it. I don't really have a system or management stuff. Yeah, this is really all I have set up why, for like workflow for reading things and citing them in like my bib stuff. And all my bib stuff is on um, a GitHub repo too. So as soon as I make a change to any of the bib files and consolidate my mega bib again, I just push all that up to GitHub. Um, yeah, I don't have an e ebook reader. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I have um, an iPad where I have the Humble Bundle on as well. And I know like on my iPad, I have um, some reader thing that lets me like highlight and make comments and notes and stuff. But I mean, like, I don't really do that. Um, 
I just kind of like write my salient points in Markdown documents. And if I need, absolutely needed to, I could just reference the page I got the notes from. And that's good enough. Like I don't really do too much crazy stuff with that at this point. So I haven't really had a need for anything more advanced. That's really all I do. Um, yeah, so sorry if you were looking for something a little more advanced. <laughs> But that's all I got. I, I mean, I use VIFM. I don't have LF. Uh, VIFM works just fine for me. I mean, if I wanted to go to my books directory, I could even from in here, I don't even need to open a terminal. I could just, you know, I could navigate to books, but I could also just do like um, CD books, you know, have some basic commands in here, um, you know, mark stuff, whatever. Like VIFM, it's pretty great. I mean, it, it works for what I need it to, so. That's all I got for like my studying, reading workflow. So yeah, that's it. If you have any other questions, uh, feel free to shoot me an email or comment on the video. Bye.